Essentially, there are these two lines. There's the bow line and the stern line. The bow line functions more to be a tow line once we do right the boat, and it kind of stabilizes the whole process. The stern line does most of the work in that it goes over the stern of the vessel in distress and goes underneath it to the cleat on the side closer to the rescue boat. So then when it does pull, it pulls the cleat that is closer to the rescue boat backwards farther away from the rescue boat and around so then it functions in a way to just flip the boat like that um, and so then once they do actually right the boat we then remove the stern line so that it doesn't keep pulling on it which could cause it to flip again but we keep the bow line on so that they can then pull the vessel back alongside the rescue boat so that it is able to be dewatered and such. So the rear line essentially helps to right the boat. That's the first time I think yes. I've ever seen that done that quickly. Yeah. Like the bow line doesn't really do that much with the actual function of riding the boat, mm -hmm. other than to kind of keep it from turning more as we're trying to pull, but it's the stern line that does most of the work. Gotcha. So now essentially they're doing what we call free surfacing, so they're just trying to move around the boat to keep it balanced because the water is sloshing around in the boat and is going to try and reflip the boat. And so as they're keeping it stable, they'll then pull the boat up along the rescue six, which allows them to then be able to dewater the boat, and that's parbuckling. Okay. 